This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there a way to bake Noisemakers preview directly to an alpha map? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have a simple cube here loaded in. And the question is referring to the surface noise. So if I go underneath the tool palette here and open up the surface noise sub palette and then click noise, you're going to get the noise maker window like so. Now in here, you can change all these different values in here to generate different noise patterns on your model. And you even have the ability to use the noise maker plugin here to even get other patterns applied. And then you can adjust the strength and different values in here to generate different pattern effects. So the question is asking if there is a way to get what you see here inside a noise maker directly turned into an alpha map instead of coming through and applying it on your model and then doing a grab doc to transfer that detail to an alpha. So the answer to this is yes. So if we navigate over here to the alpha tab, I'm just gonna dock this to the side here. And under the alpha tab here, you have a create sub palette. So if I open this up, you're gonna see you're gonna have two sliders at the top here. You have a width and a height. And we're first gonna come through and set these to our desired text resolution. So I'm gonna type in say 2048 and 2048. Now after you have these values plugged in, you now simply just need to click Create from Noisemaker. Now when you click this, it's going to open up the Noisemaker window again. And in here you can adjust the noise scale. You can use the Noise plugin to say select a different Noisemaker pattern. And you can adjust these properties as well even use the different blend modes here. And after you're happy with what you see here as your noise, you just simply hit OK. And this is going to automatically create a new alpha map based on the noise that you saw in the Noisemaker window. So the process again is first go underneath the alpha palette, change the width and the height to the texture map size you want to create, click Create from Noisemaker, going to open up the Noisemaker window here. In here you can adjust the noise values or any other different properties here on the pattern. And then once you're happy with your result, simply hit OK, and you're going to get a new alpha map generated from that noise. So if you have any other additional questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!